Someone once took a picture of me with a non Leica lens, and so I immediately grabbed rocks to hurl at the photographer to break that piece of garbage meat lens. He didn't realize I was actually doing him a favor, breaking that piece of garbage, and then he might have stumbled upon a deal for a Leica. That's the only type of lens one should strive for. We got it. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So today we're doing a couple comparisons. I put the best lens ever made on the worst body. The Olympus EM13 is not exactly the worst body ever, but in its slow mo codex, the 120 frames, it doesn't look right. Could this make it better? We'll see about that. And I also have some footage of the Sony Behemoth. Can we compare? I mean, this lens, I did some calculations. This is a $4,000 Canadian lens, plus tax, by the way, 13%, 4519 for this freak. If you compare it to Sony and Canon, their prime lenses, Sony 400 mil 2.8. That's basically what this is attempting to be in micro four loser talk. So 5.6, by the way, ton it wise. Don't talk about light. Sony $18,362, 49 cents. First 4,500, okay. Canon's a little lower. 17,965. They chopped Sony by 400 dingers. Nikon, their new one, 400, with the teleconverter in the lens, $20,000, of a dollar. Can you believe it? So I've been waiting for a deal used I've seen it as low as 2,500 plus tax, which is like 2,950 still. I've almost pounced on that in the past. I see a deal for, what was that sound? That's why uh, I see it now. So I see a deal for this plus the 1.4 times teleconverter. This comes with that, by the way, all those other pro lenses don't come with teleconverters. 21.95 no tax. We're talking the deal of the century here. I couldn't believe it when I saw that price. I went there, there was like a scratch on the element. I was like, that's why. She blew it off with dust, boom. It was just a fleck. And here we have the greatest lens of all time. I forgot to mention, it came with this teleconverter and I see there was one cap for the back of the lens. And I was like, where's the cap for this? He's like, that's as is. That's, uh, that's not getting any better for you. So I talked them down another $20 for that. Cause I have to buy the caps. I can't even find them. So it was 2175 with the tele. What's loose? Something's loose. It's a good deal, but now I have no caps for this. And that top one's a special long one. You can't just find that thing anywhere. So I wrap it in a blanket. I can't wait to test this on the GH6. But like if you could compare the 400 mil 2.8 Sony Prime is much bigger than this. Yeah. All right, things I hate about this lens this tripod foot, the slipperiest metal end as you're carrying it, usually it's like this, but when you have a camera body, it's actually back tilted. So it's kind of, it could so easily slip out. There's not much room between this and this, and this is sharp ridged metal that my knuckles drag across. So that's kind of annoying. And you could put a thumb in there for somewhat, or you're grabbing this also sharp piece. It's just carrying it is kind of annoying like this. And if you're holding it like this by the tripod foot, it's not the most comfortable piece. I wish companies would design this piece knowing that we're carrying it and holding it like this handheld. Cause this is totally designed to be handheld. Best stave in the business with Panasonic's dual sync, unbelievable. 
So, and there's like no tripod replacement foots. I've seen two and they both suck. So I don't know, man. But when it comes to the cinema being ours or not, I do believe it is. Even though Olympus has the worst 120 frames per second in the business, we got a couple of Greyhounds. That one was panicking. He's like, I don't like the look of this dog. Why'd you bring her? Why do you always bring me to these wild places? I'm a domesticated and shy. Why just, why do you bring me? Look how strong she looks and fierce. Oh God, she's coming. Oh, why aren't you protecting me? Oh man. So these dogs were playing around a little sniff, a little sniff. I don't know what those are. Someone mentioned it like the, White ones are greyhounds, and then the furry black one is something different. A greyhound-like in its abilities, but a hybrid. Saw a little kinglet. I was like, hey, little buddy, how you doing? So 400 mil, that's not terrible. I mean, there's some moments coming up where I'm like, I wish I had more reach. But so far, I was absolutely enjoying shooting with this prime lens. I was wondering what that's gonna be like, cause I'm so used to being able to zoom, like you're zooming out, then you find the bird, then you zoom in on it. I much prefer the simplicity of just point, boom, focus, yep. It's so easy and fast. This is gonna be the best setup ever. The GH6, I mean, is it as good as the Sony? And basically identical scenarios here, but perfect. Perfect, it's, it's almost as good, better probably. Okay, nothing could beat that Sony footage. That is beautiful. I mean, we had a woodpecker upside down eating poisonous berries, it was fantastic. You can't beat that. That's 600 mil. Would I miss that? I mean, the Olympus is fairly close, but that's the thing with the Panasonic, it'll have that pixel to pixel if I need to punch in and you're not losing quality, it just might get a little noisier. I don't mind noise. I make a lot of noise in bed, in the shower, while shopping. Noise is fine. If you're curious, this is a 31% crop on the Olympus slow-mo. So this is like a 524 mil lens. And there's definitely times where I'm like, I could get closer. It's kind of nice to be able to punch in on a bird, but it's also nice. I don't mind these types of shots where it's like, it's more the environment. I could not focus on this kinglet. That was a trouble for me. I was like, oh, damn it. It's so perfect. He's posing for me. Why can't I get the focus? I don't know what was happening, but little shots like this. It's like, this is 4K, by the way. So that's 400 mil. And it's like, you can barely tell there's a bird in the shot, but I, I don't super mind it. I found a duck. She was cooperating, she was standing there. I thought the stabe was a little better in the viewfinder. I was looking at it like, this is perfect. I had lens stabe and IBIS on, and usually I would turn that off because it's not sync stabe, but it looked so rock solid. I was like, this is working. But now that I see the footage, there's a little bit of micro jitters. So if I ever went out again with this combo, I would turn IBIS off and just have lens stabe. Apparently it's really good with the Panasonic dual sync. I'm trying to look and see, do I see the 3D pop? It's so hard to tell. I feel like it's there, but it's not quite the same as a full frame 3D pop. It's good, but we won't know until we see the GH6. Full frame gives you the magic, even if you're filming a Robin that looks like he just emerged from the sewers after a rat fight. I mean, it's fine. It looks pretty good, except the Sony color science, of course, but that's to be expected. You have the pop, you got the separation. It's a beautiful lens. I mean, it's hard to top the Sony. Like, just in my immediate first impressions, I would say, no, it's not even as good as Sony's zoom. But the Olympus doesn't do it justice. It's funny because I think the lens is the more important of the two. The camera body or the lens, usually, unless your codecs are so bad that it just like it kind of ruins the sharpness and everything. This is as close as I could get in 4K. I was wondering about that because magnification, I was looking up the 300 mil Olympus Pro and that had a close focusing distance closer than this and the magnification was higher. It was like 38% magnification, whereas this was 20. And I was like, damn, that's going to suck. But I think I could fill a frame, no problem. I just have to get really close to alligators 
and it'll be fine. If you were wondering what the picture quality was like, I found a blue bottle juxtapositioned against a leaf hinting that you might garnish this bottle of lemon water. And it was next to rolling hay wood in a gray cloudy street symbolizing mankind's happiness in sad times. I also managed to frame a desk next to a porta potty to symbolize that nature and mankind can be one together and your waste is our waste as well. The guy who graffitied the porta potty went on to create many Picasso-like paintings. I gotta say though, the ton of this lens might be the best I've ever seen in a telephoto or any non-telephoto lens. It's usually when you're in the woods, any background blur looks kind of distracting and busy and noisy and freaky. Whereas this isn't, it's not nervous tonne. You're not tonne nervous in a bank because they're gonna audit you for too much tonne. This Robin gave me a slow glance. He was like, oh, hello to you. And it's just a beautiful shot. It's just Olympus with their terrible 120 frames. It just looks like a smartphone, but with the best lens on it. But in 4K 24P, it's like you can see it. You can see the quality of this whole setup. It's just, I like slower movements. You can see, I think there is 3D pop. I can tell that branch is rounded and depth. Like, I would argue that that shot had more 3D pop than this one with the hair on. It's funny, I was gonna test, he was just sitting there and I was like, okay, now I'm gonna test once and for all to know if the teleconverter was sharper and also digital zoom on the 4K 60. And so I was like, okay, here's 600 mil. We got it, super shaky, that's on me. And then I'll punch in. Oh, he left. I was like, you son of it, you son of one. I can't believe he left during my shot. This was actually one of the worst days on the Sony in a long time. I just went for a walk and like nothing was happening. And even then it probably crushes the Olympus's dreams, but you would expect it at like four times the price of the camera body. But the lens is actually more expensive than this. Although I got a deal thanks to Aiden camera. I paid less for this. No, I paid less for this, but it should have been more. I forget everything. Here's another perfect comparison. Two identical squirrels lined up in similar, if not identical lighting. Same pose, everything. And you can tell the Sony was better. Here's actually the same shot in 240 frames. That's much more fair. It's super noisy. I was in the worst ISO possible that day. So it's like, okay. And this is what got me started into slow motion street videography. I was on the streetcar <laughs> with the Sony after the wildlife lens and I just filmed the woman and she was magical. And I was like, wow, this could be a thing. Slow motion. If you haven't seen my slow motion video to music, that was fun time. I'm going to totally do that again, but not bad. Like it's unfortunate you were mounted on Olympus. That was disgusting. I'm sorry for doing that to you. Never again, of course. Not bad. You can totally blur out the background. What was that? He just coughed up a bug or something. That was weird. I also bought the Leica 50 to 200 because I found a great deal on it and I, don't, I didn't see the deal for this. And then once I saw that, I bought that as well. So I'm going to have two like identical lenses, but I'll probably end up keeping one. I imagine it'll be this one, but you never know. Maybe that other one's good enough. It's smaller and lighter than this. Oh, another thing that's annoying, this lens hood has to be screwed on. I don't mind it, it's just putting the lens cap back on, you can barely reach it, it's very thin. Most people probably cannot do it, I can't do it. I don't feel confident putting a lens cap in is gonna shatter the front element. So I have to take this off every time I wanna remove the cap and put it back on, that's a bitch. And of course it's no full frame seeing a chickadee for a split second and then panning over to a cardinal in the background while shaky and missing your focus. You can't get magic like that with a micro four thirds. I'm telling you, it was a pretty terrible day for the Sony. Everything was just not going my way. Birds jumping out of my focal plane, just the harsh lighting of that sunlight and me not knowing how to expose an image or focus on it. It was bad news the whole day. And then when I did manage to get focus, the bird would 
either like be covered by a twig. It was the worst day of my life. Even this one, like he'll magically look up oh, shadow of the twig in his eye, right in his eye. That's a problem. That's a problem. That's an amateur hour. Me doing it. Oh, my cannon's about to turn. I love having a 30 minute record limit. Thank you, Canon, for that. And thank you, Leica, for carving out the lens of the century out of granite and magnetic rock. Best lens ever made. Can't wait to use it on an actual camera. We're in 4K, by the way. Is it as good as my Sony? Am I selling this immediately? No, especially not with that cool black foot. That makes the lens look so much cooler and it's better to hold. That's the Wimberley AP120 or something. I'll leave a link down below, of course, an affiliate link. And I'm very excited and I cannot wait to get the Penny Boy back in our hearts. We're gonna have it. And like a glass, it's too perfect. I 4K 120p and then punch in to like a five times crop with HD 240p and pixel to pixel. The comparisons ahead, 50 to 200 versus this, this versus that, wow. prime versus zoom, fun times ahead. So thank you everybody involved in giving great deals. Flip a phone was the one who got the deal for this one. Fantastic deal. You gotta pounce when it's that, like less than half the cost. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna leave.